Welcome to this ZBrush course on creating a 3D mandala. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some vector based artwork that was done in Adobe Illustrator and we're going to take it into Photoshop to create the actual images that we're going to use to create the 3D graphics within ZBrush. So what we've got here is the actual Illustrator file. This is how a design file looks and we're going to convert it to a black and white version to use as a mask to extract the information as a mask and actually extrude it as a piece of geometry inside of ZBrush. Now then inside of ZBrush we're going to render that out so we're going to go through all the processes setting up documents and um, setting up materials and lighting and we're going to render that out and put it together in Photoshop. Now further to this we're also going to take that same uh, model or sub tools and we're going to export those out as OBJs and we're going to take those into Keyshot where we're going to finish up with a final rendered look for our mandala. So it's going to be a nice course, uh, it's a lovely effect, it's quite quick to do this and it's good for beginners this course to sort of get into it. I do recommend that if you're a ZBrush user you do know how to kind of navigate around inside of ZBrush and you know some of the simple things that you do in ZBrush. I won't be covering the navigation side, I've done that in many of my courses and um, it's pretty easy inside of ZBrush anyway but we will be looking at lots of different features within this ZBrush creating a mandala course. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the course.